Today we hung up our spurs and put on our work boots and we're installing some drinking post waters. It's a beautiful day in the summertime. I'm gonna sweat a little bit. But this is as easy as it can be. You need your couple fittings that you have when you, you connect into your water line. I already shut my water line off. But when I go ahead to make my connections, this is literally the only thing we're doing. Put a little Teflon tape onto our fitting, okay? Get it right in there. Whoop. What I like to do is I put on my, my two, I put on two hose clamps first, drop them over. My fitting in there, so you got the Teflon tape. So I get ready to make my connection. Just heat up my end of my line a little bit. All the way, right there, perfect. I go ahead, we get my hose clamps. Right now, it's done. As soon as water fills this line, drinking post is ready to rock and roll. I have a water line here, my T, and I'm literally going to set this up so my T comes right in there. On first, just cleaning out the water, and that was it. For other environments that have a heavier clay soil, put more of a, of a drain tile on the bottom, and then use a geotech fabric to cover it so that you don't uh, get soil into that gravel and it'll keep the integrity of your drain tile. But we just dumped a little bit of gravel on the bottom, a little bit of geotech fabric, now we're back though. At finished grade, we're about 17 and a half inches. So that means calves will be good. Thing that I love about the drinking post water, rigid construction, three movable parts. And we're talking about ease of installation. It is ridiculous. Drinking post basically does all the work for you except for the fitting from the bottom of the drinking post to your T into your water line. So a couple hose clamps, cut your line, and really, that's it. So the beauty of this, no electricity, cool water, and a reliable source. Six years using the drinking post water, and you wanna talk about ease of installation? I just put in six of these today. So I've pretty much taken care of almost all my pastures, all our paddocks have them, and now we're changing over and the cattle are getting them.